Hi, it's Matt from Testfully, and in this video, we will go through how we can monitor our API using Postman. So I have installed the latest version of the Postman and on Mac, uh, same is going to be for Windows and Linux. So that's basically uh, Postman. What we need now is uh, API. So one API that I will be using today is um, the Recam Multi API. So it's a free API. Uh, recamorty.api.com you can uh, read the documentation over here and this is what we are going to use today so what i'm going to do go to the documentation and this is my api url uh, so let's start by creating a collection because that's important when it comes to monitoring your api using postman so i will click here and create a new collection i will set it to recamorty api and um, that's my collection Cool. Uh, now what I want to do, create a new request here. I will add the request here. And we say, for example, let's say we want to fetch the character profile. So we say get profile of a character. So that's uh, the name of my request. So what I want to do next is to have a URL. This is the URL that I just got from their website. So if I save this one, and send a request uh, you can see that and this is working so the next thing that i want to do is obviously to set some validations um, so i will come to the test section and uh, here we have some snippets as you know uh, you cannot uh, set validations uh, without knowing programming in postman so everything is using javascript so what i want to do is that to set the status code to 200 that's i just uh, set this one uh, what I want to also do is uh, check the validation. Um, so this response. So let me see if there is any snippet here. Uh, this should do the job. Uh, yeah, this one actually is better. Let me just get rid of this one. Okay, this one is better. So I want to expect that the ID to equal two and then i will just copy this one as well um, sorry for the background noise there's ambulance so this is um the name and this should be the value cool so i will save this one send a request and the test results section we can see that uh basically these two tests are passing let me change this one. Okay. So I'll run this one again. And that should be fine. Okay, now my test case is created. I can add as many as tests I want. The next step for us to is to create a monitoring section. So I will come to the monitors. And here I will create a new monitor. I will, for example, say hourly... Check of um, API. So I will select a collection here. Obviously, we can move the API and I will select the current version. I don't have any environment. So the question is that how are you going to run this uh, monitoring? This is the most important one. So you can see here that for free users, obviously, it's every hour or every week. Um, this uh, every minute uh, is not available, so you need to upgrade. Uh, for testfully, you can uh, run your uh, monitoring every minute, even if you are a free user. Um, so, I'll, for example, I would just create hour. That doesn't matter really for this demo. Um, so, we are not bothered about the region here. Uh, you can just use any region. And obviously, here you can see that you can set emails when the test fails. There are a couple of more settings here you can set. That's not uh, something special. What we will do is just create our monitoring. And that's it, it's created now, but we don't have anything here. So let me just actually go and run this one. And you can see that it's running our test and it is passing. So you can see the logs down here as well. One of the challenges with Postman is that this is our request. Uh, we see that it's passing, but I can't find the actual response to the request. So if you need that one, you need to log it properly here so you can access it. By default, you don't have any information. Um, that's it, a quick demo of uh, creating an API monitoring task using Postman. And I hope you enjoy and uh, see you later.